brakes versus disc brakes. Which one should you get? In today's video, we're comparing disc brakes versus rim brakes. How do they stack up against each other? How do they perform on bike? Which one's better to use? Also off the bike, how is the maintenance? Taking care of them, repairs. We're gonna chat about that today. Also, I have an inside tip from the Pro Peloton, a world tour team about where rim brakes are going, where disc brakes are going, and what we can expect to see in the future. Also, importantly, why some teams are still using rim brakes. Also, I'm gonna share with you my workout today, four times 12 minutes. Interesting workout with some sprints in there. Let's get this video going. I'm excited, let's do this. afternoon on the trainer with my friends. It's easier to do the trainer sometimes. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I could have got up, left you with him and gone out. No. All right, so well, what this video is about today is rim brake versus disc brake. What do you think? Disc brake for the win. We'll get this right going. How much time you got left? 15 minutes. Nice. All right, guys, I got two huge goals. I want my FTP back. I did 420 watts back in August of 2020, and I definitely can't do that now, but I started training hard again, and I wanna get it back. So my goal is to do 430 for 20 minutes, and I want you to come along for the ride. So please subscribe to see if I can meet my goals. Goal number two, and this one you're gonna help me, you can help me with, which is 10,000 subs by the end of this year. Two huge goals. I'm also on an adventure. I'm here in Florida. I'm going to Austin. I'm going to Tucson. And I want you guys to come along for the ride. So please subscribe. Okay, all right, let's get back into this. I think the best way to describe disc brakes is consistent. They're consistent throughout the ride, they're consistent throughout the weather, and they're consistent day to day. And what I mean by that is when you pull that lever, you're gonna stop and you're gonna feel that pressure, you're gonna feel that power the same way you do every other time. And it's powerful. And that's the big difference between rim brakes, you're getting consistent power all the time. Now what are the trade-offs for this? Obviously number one is weight, but also number two is the reliability. I would say that rim brakes are definitely more reliable. You're not gonna get that pinging sound. You're not gonna have centering issues. And if you do have a problem, you're gonna be able to fix those rim brakes much faster and much easier. Changing pads is easier, changing cables is easier. Everything is easier. If you live in the mountains somewhere, like say Santa Monica mountains, and you going down Tuna Canyon, you want those disc brakes. If you're in a flat area in say where I am in Florida right now, I don't think you really need disc brakes. Now, if you're a person like me and you really like the cutting edge technology, then yeah, go for the disc brakes. I'm not telling you which one to buy or which one not to buy, but on my Amanda here, I have disc brakes and on my CAD 12, I have rim brakes and I enjoy having both. There's different situations that I like having them. I did a long 240 kilometer bike packing trip. One day, first day was 240, we rode to a hotel and then home 200 and it was very flat, I wanted my rim brakes for that because if I ran into a problem, I didn't want to have any issues. You know, that gives you the pros and cons in my personal opinion. I really enjoy my disc brakes. I really like having that stopping power uh, when, I, when I want it. I only rode this bike for maybe a couple months. I hopped on my TT bike, which has rim brakes, and I live on a, hi on a hill. My street, like my house, is right on the side of this hill. When I first got on that TT bike and I came home, I went right past my, right past my house because it just doesn't have the stopping power that uh, the rim brakes, or that the disc brakes do. Definitely gonna have to put the gator skins on. See if we can see what did it. I'm on this busy road too. I think I found the problem. This is the problem when the tires wear down too much. Holy, look at that. A 
Look at that. And I think we're good here. All right, let's get the tire back on. thing iced up look at that I can't even hold it is not crazy look at that take my garbage with me I think that was pretty quick all right let's get off this road friggin pet cemetery here You ever start doing your intervals and they get easier as you do them? Easier on the mind, but harder on the body? It always makes me think about how powerful the mind is. Just finished my interval. So what I did today was 45 minutes at 220 watts, straight in to 12 minutes at 300 watts. But at every four minutes, I do a max 10 second sprint. So at four minutes, eight minutes, at 12 minutes, three sprints, and then I do a 10 minute rest. And then now I took a 10 minute break and I'm gonna go home. It's gonna take me like 40 minutes. I'll roll home at 2.20. Feeling good that this is done. Did them all on the rail trail here. So this rail trail is awesome for intervals. Absolutely amazing. One of the best places I've done intervals for sure. That's it guys. All right, I'm gonna get home. I wanna get my coffee, get a little food. Let's do this. This is what I heard from the rider in the pro peloton that the only reason that the teams that are still riding rim brakes do is because they can't make disc brake bikes light enough for them yet. So if you take a team like Jumbo Visma, their bike, the disc version just isn't light enough. But if it was, they would be riding it. He also said that all teams in the future will be riding disc brakes eventually. So five years from now or whenever, all teams will be riding disc brakes. I would love to know what you think about that. Do you think that's correct? Do you think that's accurate? And I wanna hear your opinion on this, so please comment, tell me what you think. Would love to hear from you. This is such a polarizing topic. I know there's so many people I meet that are like, discs are crap, rim brakes. Other people are like, discs are the best, rim brakes are crap. So what camp do you fall in? This is ride number two. How long was your first ride? <laughs> oh, it was 30 days. Rim brake or disc brake? This. What? I find it stops faster. And because it immediately. And because I do all the maintenance. Yes. There's one thing I left out though. Disc is much more expensive. And that's another con for the disc. But right now we're both running disc as our primary bike. I got this really cool tool I'll show you guys real quick. That has helped me so much with my disc brakes and it's a little spacer. I'll link it in the description. I got it here in the garage. Look at that, I didn't bring it. Holy, that's not something I usually do, is forget something. But I've been doing more, more of that recently. So I'm gonna post a picture of it. I'll post it up in what it is. A little spacer to make sure you can space your discs so they don't rub and you get that little tingy ting. We're calling it a day today. I got some other videos coming up, guys. I'm working on something that might be pretty good. I think you guys will like it. So we're calling this video today. And as always, please subscribe. You know my goal, 10,000 subs. And if you could help me out, I would so much appreciate it. It's such a huge goal for me. Follow along with our family. Look, see, we're not in the sun again. Our family cycling adventure, right? Whenever I turn the camera on, she's in a good mood. I'm just gonna leave the camera on the whole time. Okay, all right. 
signing off. We'll see you guys on the next video. We'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye-bye.